Hi, everyone. This is your Contact Center coach here to give you some tools and tips about how to get the most out of your next coaching session. If you've never been in a coaching session, this can seem pretty intimidating. Even for people who've been in a lot of them, coaching sessions can feel a bit scary. After all, they are about how you perform. So I'm going to break all of that fear down for you by explaining what a typical coaching session is like, why they're important, and I'll give you eight great tips on how to get the most out of any coaching session. This video is brought to you by Benchmark Portal, the source for contact center training, certification, benchmarking, and consulting services. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This helps us to keep creating and providing more helpful videos just like this one. And please stay to the end for a special offer that can be a real boost to your career. When we think of coaching, we often picture the coach of a sports team standing on the sideline, shouting out directions or plays, and maybe even arguing with officials. Well, that's nothing like what a coaching session looks like in a contact center. Contact center coaching sessions are more like a classroom where a teacher is providing training to students about their performance. In most cases, that teacher or the coach is your supervisor but it could be a member of your management or QA team. Your coach will provide suggestions on where and how to improve. They'll also set short-term goals for checking progress and measuring your success. Typically, the coach will review your performance in key metrics such as customer quality scores, aux time, post-call documentation, and so on. If your center records calls, you'll likely listen to one or more calls so you can hear what was evaluated and where to improve. If this all sounds frightening, it's not. It's really more like a football coach going over game film with you to identify where improvements can be made for the next game. Why is this important? Like any great athlete or performer, you need input to improve and perform the best at your game. Coaching sessions help you learn what's working well and where you can improve at your job so you can succeed in your career. When you approach these sessions as a career opportunity, that can make them not only painless, but enjoyable in helping you to grow and develop other opportunities. So let's look at some things you can do to prepare for coaching sessions. Don't just come into your coaching session hoping for the best. Instead, come in prepared by reviewing your performance metrics since your last session. This will help you to prepare and set expectations for that session. If you can listen to calls that have been evaluated, do so, taking notes about how and where to improve. Of course, make sure you've completed any tasks assigned to you in your previous sessions. Preparation should also include setting goals for yourself. These can be ones previously identified by your coach or ones you'd personally like to accomplish. The important thing is to have a focus and set goals to work toward with your coach. If you have a number of things you'd like to work through, it's best to pick one to focus on for improvement. Keep a journal of things that happen between coaching sessions. This allows you to bring real life situations into the next coaching session, which can make that discussion more meaningful and helpful to you. Be sure to review your journal before each session to help you focus on the most important issues you'd like to discuss. Relax. A coaching session is simply a conversation about your performance and nothing derails a healthy conversation like walking into it expecting the worst. So instead, plan for having a great conversation about how you can be the best at what you do. The coaching session is a chance for you to learn. So be open and honest with your coach. Listen to any corrections with an open mind and understand that coaching sessions are meant to help you, not hurt you. Your coach may ask you questions that challenge your thinking and help you to see other possibilities. You'll be challenged to get out of your comfort zone and to look critically at your own performance. Remember, your coach is there to support, encourage, and challenge you. And meeting challenges is how good performers become great. To achieve your goals and improve performance, there has to be changes in your behavior, mindset, or beliefs. This takes intentional effort on your part. Your coach can be there to support you through this, but ultimately, it's up to you to change behaviors that improve results. So look for and expect change from yourself. Finally, there's no greater tool for achieving goals than asking questions, even if those questions are simply to confirm your understanding. 
Asking questions is the most direct way to clarify how or where you can improve and in what time frame that improvement is expected. Remember, the only dumb question is the one you fail to ask. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to check out our great certification courses listed in the description below. These can be a great asset to your resume and your career by setting yourself apart from others. And just for watching this video, you can get a 20% discount on any of our training programs by using the promo code COACH20 when you enroll. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like this one about how to handle stress or this other one from Benchmark Portal. Just click or tap on your screen. This is your contact center coach saying game over. Now go out there and be great.